hello everyone welcome you all so in this video we are going to derive the expression for work done in adiabatic process so in the previous video we have discussed about the adiabatic process and we have derived this law pv power gamma is equals to constant and we have discussed about the adiabatic process okay so now what is adiabatic process the process in which there is a no heat transfer means the q should be zero such a process is known as adiabatic process so consider this is piston and cylinder arrangement so we have gas inside the cylinder and this work done by the gas we have going to derive the expression for it okay so now for the adiabatic process the system should be thermally insulated means we have to provide the insulation then why because there should be no heat interaction between the gas present inside and the outside that's why we have proper thermal insulation should be provided in order to adiabatic process takes place okay so now this gas i can the work done by this gas i will draw in pv diagram so this is pressure volume you know, graph so this is the adiabatic process so there is like this so this is my one state one two state two so this is will be my volume v1 and this will be volume v2 okay so now how we can draft the work done work done is nothing but this area under this pv curve will give me the work done so the area under this curve will be give me work done and this curve is follow the law pv power gamma is equals to constant as because it is adiabatic process now from here pv power gamma is equals to constant c i am writing okay so now from the i can write P is equals to C divided by V key power of gamma. This is my equation number one. Okay. So now if apply this law at state one, what I get? P one V one key power of gamma is equals to constant C. And at state two, what I get? P two V two key power of gamma is equals to C. So from this two, I can write P one V one key power of gamma is equals to P two V two key power of gamma. Okay. so this is another relation which is equals to constant c okay so now moving on so now how you can derive work done so we know that work done is equal to integration between v1 to v2 p into dv we already know this work done and we have derived this expression also in our previous video so now if i substitute the value what i get this integral v1 to v2 p here p is c divided by v key power of gamma into dv so now this c is constant i will bring outside the integral and i am taking going to take this v in numerator what i get w is equals to c outside the integral this is v2 to v1 so v1 to v2 now this c is outside this v key power of gamma i am taking in numerator nothing but v minus v this formula 1 divided by a k power r equals to this formula okay so in the denominator i am taking in the numerator so now what is integral integral of x k power of n into dx will be x k power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so what i get w is equals to c as it is this now i'm solving the integral now in the place of we have x this Minus gamma plus one in the place of n I have minus gamma, and in the place of x I have v. So here minus gamma plus one from v one to v two. Okay. So now we have to substitute the limits. First upper limit minus lower limit. So what I get v two minus gamma plus one upper limit minus in the place of v I have to substitute the lower limit v one minus gamma plus one. Okay, this is divided by minus gamma plus one. Now I will take minus common from numerator and denominator also, or you can multiply with minus to numerator as well as denominator. So what I get, I am taking minus common. So what I get, this will minus become plus, and this plus become minus. Keep power of minus gamma plus one. Okay. similarly in denominator also if i take minus common this minus become plus and the plus become minus okay this minus this minus cancel out now i will multiply this c with the 
in inside the bracket what i get c v1 ki power of minus gamma plus 1 minus c v2 ki power of minus gamma plus 1 divided by gamma minus 1 okay so now the value of c we have p1 v1 ki power of gamma and p2 v2 ki power of gamma so while we are multiplying with v1 i will take this term now while multiplying with v2 i will take this term okay so now in the place of this c i can write p1 v1 ki power of gamma into v1 so what i get w is equal to in the place of c i can write p1 v1 ki power of gamma and this v1 ki power of minus gamma plus 1 as it is this minus okay in the place of c i can write p2 v2 ki power of gamma p2 v2 ki power of gamma and this v2 as it is v2 ki power of minus gamma plus 1 whole divided by gamma minus 1 now what i get w is equals to p1 basis are same power should be added v1 this minus gamma plus 1 in this plus gamma okay similarly here also bases are same power should be added minus gamma plus 1 in this plus gamma divided by gamma minus 1 so now this minus gamma plus gamma cancel out this minus gamma plus gamma cancel out left out with p1 v1 minus p2 v2 divided by gamma minus 1 so this is the work done in adiabatic process so we can use another form of form of work done so as we know that from ideal gas equation pv is equal to rt okay similarly for p1 v1 case i can write rt1 minus in p2 v2 case i can write rt2 because r is constant that's why we are not writing r1 r2 because in both the cases the value of r is same because it is gas constant okay now this gamma minus 1 if i take r common what i get t1 minus t2 divided by gamma minus 1 so this is the also work done in adiabatic process thank you